Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Got a story here widely reported and sent to me by about everyone. And one of the interesting points here is that I've actually covered this exact same story, at least the underlying part of it, a couple of years ago when it first broke. But something's happening now that pushed it back to the forefront of the news. So from the drive.com, Nico Demetia wrote this. FedEx accused of largest odometer rollback fraud in history with used vans, FedEx. So FedEx allegedly replaced the odometers on used vans and intentionally sold them with inaccurate mileage. And when this first got revealed, the allegations that they had done this, uh, like I said, I did a video about this. I'll put a link in that in the description below. But now a class action lawsuit's been filed on behalf of the people who bought those vehicles. Uh, once FedEx vans reach the end of their package delivery lives, they are resold and repurposed for various purposes. Many of them are turned into things like food trucks and so on. However, FedEx is facing a lawsuit now for selling the vans as it's being accused of the largest odometer rollback fraud in history. The lawsuit accuses FedEx of replacing the odometers in many of its vans with new ones that started at zero, using the vans for a bit longer and then selling them at auction with whatever the mileage was at that time, but of course it's missing all the miles from the first odometer. With such low indicated mileage, business owners were buying the vans for top dollars, thinking that they were still pretty fresh. However, their real mileage was sometimes as much as four times what the odometers showed. In some cases, the issues would be so severe that followed that the vans were useless and businesses went bust. According to KTNV Las Vegas, uh, one man from Henderson first noticed FedEx's odometer rollbacks in 2017. He was uh, buying and selling the trucks and vans, and he bought a FedEx Freightliner with around 180,000 miles shown on the odometer. When he sold the truck, the buyer hooked it up to get a reading on what the actual mileage was, and it was actually around 400,000 miles. So that was off by quite a bit. So he filed his own lawsuit back then, which is separate from a class action that has now been filed against FedEx. Uh, in the meantime, customers from California, Tennessee, New Jersey, Florida, and Virginia have all claimed to see odometer rollback problems on former FedEx vehicles. FedEx didn't always sell its retired vans. Uh, back in the old days, they would often scrap them at a given number of, like, say, 350,000 miles. I believe UPS also did that. Uh, it wasn't until 2011 that FedEx started auctioning off the old vans through its fleet company, uh, who is also a defendant in the lawsuit. The lawsuit alleges that both FedEx and the fleet company intentionally replaced the odometers to artificially inflate the values of the vans. And by the way, how often do you actually have to replace an odometer? It's not something that breaks all that often. And so it makes you wonder why so many of them had their odometers replaced in the first place. Uh, according to the accusations, uh, the companies would then split the profits because they both benefited from the odometer rollbacks. Uh, meanwhile, the lawsuit says FedEx, with the knowledge and assistance of Holman, that's the fleet company, replaced thousands of odometers on FedEx Holman vehicles. Uh, the odometers, as automotive components, do occasionally wear out or malfunction. There was no valid reason for this large-scale replacement of the odometers on the vehicles other than to perpetuate their agreements to commit odometer fraud. Now, it isn't illegal to replace odometers. And I got to be very careful because I'm just reading what uh, Nico wrote here because I'm going to make sure it's correct. But it isn't illegal to replace an odometer. And it isn't illegal to sell vehicles with odometers that have inaccurate mileage readouts. However, to do so, and this is correct, a disclaimer needs to be made by the seller indicating that the mileage readout is inaccurate that the odometer was replaced. According to the lawsuit, neither FedEx nor Holman did that. A vehicle with unknown mileage is worth substantially less than the identical vehicle with known mileage. So if I got two vehicles parked next to each other and one has unknown mileage and the other one has known mileage of 100,000 and that 100,000 is correct, the unknown mileage one is worth way less, way less. Defendants purposely failed or refused to attach such a warning because they intended to mislead potential buyers of the vehicles. And that's from the lawsuit. FedEx denies the allegation, says we are aware of the allegations made in the complaint and will vigorously defend the lawsuit. Uh, notice that's not actually a denial. 
They may have denied it elsewhere, but we are aware of the allegations. Doesn't deny anything. Neither does we will vigorously defend the lawsuit. Uh, you can vigorously defend a lawsuit and lose on every single count. And you can also vigorously defend a lawsuit where you've done everything they've alleged. <laughs> so um, this would be a problem if true. Now, we don't know, obviously, but it's a fairly simple thing to figure out, especially if these things have got onboard computers that track mileage, uh, and many modern vehicles do. Uh, so that's one way you can figure this out. Another way to figure it out is to find out where they do their maintenance and start taking depositions of mechanics. Uh, and you should probably also be able to track down um, if they've bought odometers from anybody. And you might say, Steve, how do you figure this stuff out? How do you, how do you find out what somebody bought? Oh, you can serve uh, subpoenas. Uh, it's a request for production, actually, in civil litigation. It's the equivalent of a subpoena. And you serve this document on the other side, and you say, uh, has this company or any company you've worked with, as far as you know, purchased replacement odometers in the last so many years for these vehicles? How many have you purchased? What vehicles did you put them in? Who did you purchase them from? And when you find out who they purchased them from, you then drop a subpoena on them to say, how many odometers did you guys sell to FedEx or to Holman? And you check to see those numbers comport, as we say. So I took a look at the complaint. It's a class action on behalf of anybody who purchased one of these vehicles. Uh, and it's uh, got several interesting counts in there. But first and foremost is the odometer fraud count, federal odometer statute, which allows for, among other things, treble damages, three times the damages. So if you bought a vehicle and you paid, I don't know, $20,000 for it, it turns out it's only worth 10 because of the unknown mileage. Your damages could be arguably that $10,000 of diminished value multiplied by three. Do that across the whole boatload of vehicles we're talking about here. That could add up. And then also, um, the New Jersey Consumer Fraud Act. Now, I suspect that's only going to apply to people in New Jersey who bought these vehicles, but apparently there were a few. Uh, they've also pled unjust enrichment, which is an interesting claim because it's a common law claim and it's an equitable claim, meaning that um, it has more to do with uh, what the court thinks would be the right thing to do versus some mathematical formula. And so if, if you and I are in a situation and somehow something happens, even where you didn't necessarily mean to rip me off, but you, you somehow came out way ahead and I kind of got the short end of it, but no laws were broken except that somehow it's just unfair to let you keep that advantage, whatever it might be. That's unjust enrichment. And so they're saying, look, let's suppose that, that, that FedEx actually replaced a whole bunch of odometers. But somehow there's an innocent explanation for it. It still would be unfair that these people bought these trucks thinking they had actual mileage on them. And it would be unfair to let FedEx or Holman keep that extra money they got for selling the vehicles, even if they'd done nothing wrong. Now, it's hard to imagine that situation, but attorneys do like to put catch-alls in there as a backup. Okay, so a backstop on this in case there's a technical problem with the odometer fraud claims. And then finally, civil conspiracy, because you've got two or more actors, uh, arguably, working together to break the law. And I can tell you that it doesn't happen very often, but I have done stories on it on this channel and elsewhere, uh, where they've busted up odometer tampering rings, where a couple people get together and like one guy says, hey, look, I'll buy and sell the cars you replace the odometers. And so a couple guys get together, start doing this. Next thing you know, there's a whole bunch of vehicles with spun odometers popping up in, I don't know, Wisconsin. And so the feds start looking into it and they figure out, hey, it's a couple people doing this, two or more. And they go, okay, we got them on conspiracy now. And that's serious. And there is a civil aspect to that also. So if you've got a situation where you're suing people, if they got together and did something that harmed you, you can then add that in as a count. So uh, that's an interesting angle to this as well. But this class action lawsuit was filed, and I don't know if they've ever given any estimates as to how many vehicles they think there are out there with the tampered odometers. I'm also not sure how many vehicles these guys sell. Um, I know that they've obviously got a very, very large fleet. I just don't know how often vehicles from that fleet get retired. But it's been in the news for a little while. But the interesting angle here, of course, is that they're calling this the 
largest odometer rollback fraud in history, uh, assuming that that's true. That's the accusation. So I'll watch this as it unfolds. Uh, like I said, a class action lawsuit. If you bought one of these vehicles, obviously you take it out and have somebody put a, a reader on it to figure out how many miles are actually on it. And then you compare that to one on the dashboard and you do some algebra. <laughs> are the numbers the same? Yes, no. If no, proceed. If yes, well, you got what you bargained for. So Nico DiMattia wrote that everyone sent it to me. It's from the drive.com. FedEx accused of largest odometer rollback fraud in history with their used vans. We'll see what happens. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Education must not simply teach work, it must teach life.